Uh, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. Today, we're going to be taking another dive into Ripple, XRP, and the rest of the world. So make sure you stay tuned for more and watch the whole video through so you don't miss out on anything important. Having said that though, guys, make sure you also press that like button because we're giving away 50 XRP to somebody who pressed the like button, commented something down below, and is subscribed. We're giving it away today. 50 XRP instantly if we hit 500 likes within 24 hours. So make sure you press that like button, guys, and let's get on with the video. You can see it right in front of you already. Stimulus update. White House unveils $1.8 trillion offer, but it's unclear if Congress has the appetite to pass anything before the election. Two very important subjects right in front of our eyes here. First of all, the election. Second of all, the freaking ridiculous multi-trillion dollar stimulus. And I've talked more and more in my videos about how I think the stimulus is what might really break our financial system and why we might really need to get back to this, this bimetallic <laughs> currency system that I've been referring to for the last couple of weeks. Now, the reason I'm saying that is not just because I, I find it fun. No, it is because I think the multi-trillion dollars of debt that they're creating right now, which again, is going at an exponential rate right now. It's never gone up faster, the depth, than, than now. It's only been going faster and faster and faster. And it's been going up for so long. There will no way, shape, or form be able to get that down. There won't be any way to get that debt down anymore, ever. Already, interest rates are so low, all they can do is get it to zero, but that, again, would break your system if, if done this way. Again, things like those systems we've been referring to, the golden standard and things like that, they, they all seem to you know, just point out how they could fix some of these issues when I'm, when I'm listening or reading these stimulus updates and things like that. Well, that's just one part, though. The second part is this election that is coming up. And by the way, I have a question for you guys, quite unrelated, but do you also hate your neighbors? Let me know in the comment section down below. If, if, I, if I could... No, never mind. Let's uh, <laughs> let's never let, let's not talk about that one. Actually, I, I would not do anything to my neighbors if I could. But you know what? I, I I just they make so much noise. It is ridiculous. Whenever I'm trying to record these videos, they're just a just a freaking crazy song in the background playing. They don't give a shit. The, the kids screaming like freaking b baboons. I don't even know what they're doing over there. Maybe crafting some stuff, some some secret potions or something like that. Maybe somebody's getting split open. I don't even know. But they scream so <laughs> outrageous. Sorry. I just got distracted right now because I can hear one screaming a little bit further away. Having said that though, guys, the election is coming up right now. I don't want to know who you voted for. Please do not tell me because I think that information should be for you alone not left on the internet unless you want to really stand by it. But the election is coming up, which means a lot more uncertainty in the system, which means a lot more question in the government, which means a lot more question in the world reserve currency. The world reserve currency is often depicted by the country with the most amount of reserve or the most amount of stability. However, right now we can see with this stimulus, with this whole situation, that that's not the case. Because a lot of the, the higher up guys who don't get the stimulus or who don't really benefit too much are like, well, stop messing up my currency. Because those guys, they're, 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 they're worth less and less and less by the second the more we talk about stimulus, right? If you have $100 million or 100, let's say you have a billion dollars, even 200 billion like Jeff Bezos, theoretically speaking, in net worth. All of a sudden, those dollars are worth a lot less if $2 trillion has been added to the supply, right? Logically speaking, you wouldn't like that. There's less and less trust in the system because you would kind of switch over. Ripple falls along into this whole plan. Ripple needs this regulatory clarity. And you can see the similarities here, right? These big billionaires, these bigger guys, they will kind of leave the US dollar or the US because their currency is too unstable or too unclear because of things like this. Ripple might leave the US because the regulatory clarity is kind of unclear. Or at least the US just does not provide the standard that you would like. And the election is a very important keystone right there for crypto 
and for just the general, I guess, way of living. Because because think about this one here. I don't know exactly what these guys' plans are, but whoever is going to become president would definitely decide in, in a very advanced manner how crypto adoption is going to be followed along further. I don't want to I don't want to tell you guys here who is you know pleading for what because I think we'll do that in a different video if I even think about doing that. What I do think though and what I do think I should share is the fact that this little part of the election again who the 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 the, the afterwards of like who's going to do what to crypto is so much more important than you think because it's not only crypto in the the small sense like hmm these cryptocurrency like XRP what are we going to do with that no it's like are we going to go for a CBDC now? Yes or no? What are the regulations for that going to be? How can these fintechs operate? Do we want to keep them or should we let them go abroad? What are we going to do against China's CBDC or China's domination over Bitcoin? Things like those are what really, really matters. And that's what's going to decide whether or not the U.S. will continue to be this behemoth in, 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 in development. First of all, on a level of crypto, then on a level of fintech, and then on a level of higher capital individuals like Jeff Bezos, if he had more cash and just guys with a lot of cash I'm talking hundreds of millions of dollars or companies with hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars in reserves like tesla right those those companies they don't want to be headquartered in the u.s because there's too much uncertainty right there this election will will really prove to us whether or not my theory is correct because what i've what i've what i've kind of devised and what i've kind of said in my videos is that what could happen right now is People lose more and more faith as the election comes closer since they always have to vote, again, South Park reference, between a douche and a turd sandwich, all right? That, that's kind of always the situation. When was the last election where you were like, yeah, these are two perfect candidates? I mean, right now, you might be wanting to vote for one of them, which, you know, is fine. If you think that's the best one, you do you, all right? I'm not saying yours is good or bad. I'm, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying there will always be people who disagree with your vote, there will always be at least 30% of the people who would really heavily disagree with your vote. There will always be a big debate about it. So the closer we get to the election date, the more divided people will be. Now, together with a lot of these situations in America right now, things are just very, very much divided so that I think it could really make a dent in how much people trust the government in, in clearing things up, especially if we're talking about stimulus and it, it taking longer and it being less than expected, maybe those things as well. Which will lead to trust in the currency, because I mean the currency is backed by the by the government. Unless we were to go for a system like this again, which has been proposed, but I'm still wondering who would ever bring it back in. Because I mean, if somebody can bring a, oh, I bit my tongue. If somebody can bring a system like this back in, they could also bring a a better uh, ruling out for crypto, right? So those things are they can all easily be cleared up by just a couple of changes, small ones even. But who who is gonna do that? That I don't know. But you guys see the friction right there. They would lose faith in the U.S. dollar, which again would kind of kind of circle back around of people leaving the U.S. U.S. losing its privilege of being the most stable or the most emancipating or the, the just the most number one in everything really, losing its world reserve currency status and just basically tumbling down the freaking hole. Because maybe what I'm thinking here is that China's number two, which might take it over, and that would uh that would definitely be an interesting situation. But yeah, together with that, there's just so much talk about these CBDCs right now. And I'm still wondering exactly how it's all going to be coming out. And really, why we would need them to a certain degree. And, and if they would really be good. Because sometimes I'm thinking, you know, if China were to be that, that central authority with CBDCs, how do we rule out? Right? Because, I mean, they have a different way of living than we do in the, in the West. But here, I read this from C3Nick. He says... With regards to the digital euro, CBDC, anonymity may have to be ruled out. This would be very concerning development to say the least. And it said right there, anonymity may have to be ruled out not only because to legal obligations related to the money laundering and terrorist financing, but also in order to limit the scope of users to the digital euro when necessary. The first part, you know, anonymity may have to be ruled out because of legal obligations and terrorist financing. I get that. The second part, however, is, is what kind of frightens me. And again, I'm not saying I did not expect this to not be private. Because, I mean, I expected that to not be private at all. I really expected that to the core. But the fact that they say they, they want to be able to limit the scope of users of the digital euro when necessary? What the... What? 
they want to be they want to be able to limit that i find that very very strange as well now again i don't have the full context here but i find that so odd and and this is the euro we're talking about here with that thought in mind i'm like what is china gonna put in those rules then if euro already has these kind of crazy rules inside what would china have in plan for them i'm, I'm thinking things like you know you can't really uh depending as well on how they will deploy cbdc's and in, in what parts of society will be using them. Is it going to be CBDC only for the banking layer? Is it going to be also for some retail people or or how exactly? It depends a little bit. But is it going to be like, all right, these guys will not be able to use the CBDC because they've done this in the past and this and this in the past. Maybe they'll go for such a system and things like that. They, they could do all of that, which I'm kind of frightened about right now, which is why I'm like, I want the US to be the spearhead with CBDCs, but also make sure they have a freaking good one you know that people can accept and, and kind of back which is why they and how they'll stay at the top but yeah there's stuff i'm thinking about uh some stuff quite unrelated to my story but still quite relevant crypto arp says he's in the two percent club one percent by end of the year two percent is forty thousand xrp oh my freaking god guys this is going insane as well look at those those amounts at first, if you wanted to be number one, or at least 1% up, you, you needed some small amount of XRP. I don't even know how much it was, but it wasn't anywhere close to the 84,000 that it is today. 84 freaking thousand? What? What? That is insane. That's the 1% club round now. Oh, my days, guys. Are you in the 1%? Oh, I don't think many people are. This is completely crazy. I think you're in the top 10. You're already doing a splendid freaking job, guys. Again, this is in no ways and no means necessary. This is not financial advice anyway. But I, I think the top 10% already is a very cool milestone to have. So don't be worried if you only have, you know, 5 XRP. You're on your way. You know, you do what you can do. Never invest more than you're able to lose because that's the system we go for, guys. Michael says, compliments of the bearable bull. On Friday, the Bank of Japan joined the Fed and ECB when it said it would begin experimenting on how to operate its own digital currency, rather than confining itself to conceptual research as it has to date. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then, again, a little bit of what I said earlier, Bitcoin would die, only Bitcoin fans can see the reality. With that, the system, how it's made right now, in my opinion, there, there's really no longevity for it, all right? The Bitcoin system. And I, I really don't think it will survive too long. I just, I just really can't see it happening. I mean, proof of work doesn't work. Bitcoin is really guess, guess governed by the Chinese, which is really not acceptable by the U.S. So it, it can't really work. I don't know how it could. Then uh, some other thing, which is, again, quite un unrelated, but still very much important. It actually refers to digital perspectives. I don't know what the name is officially. Brad Kimes, I think. Or is that somebody else? I don't really know, guys. I'm, I'm too sorry. I don't know what his name is, actually. But you guys know what I'm talking about here because you're watching. He posted a video with the title, Ripple XRP. Did Ripple just become a bank? And again, no hate towards him whatsoever. However, I do have something to say about, the, not necessarily the title, but the question. And that is that I don't know how people got to this idea that Ripple is going to become a bank. Barababu has said it, I know, but still, I'm, I'm, I'm going to point out and say he's kind of wrong about that one. The reason I'm saying that is because if Ripple were to turn out to be a bank, you know how many customers they would lose then? Because literally, Ripple would turn into JPM, right? And, and XRP would turn into JPM coin. Why would people use that? Why would, why would these other banks use a currency of their competitor? Because Ripple would then turn into a competitor, yes. If Ripple were to go for a DX, a decentralized exchange, no problem. A real bank, though, with a banking license? No. Not going to happen. Would be very, very bad. Unless Ripple were to take over all the money out there and really get another standard thing like that going. But, guys, those are those are wishful thinkings, but not so realistic, all right? If we're completely honest and realistic about this one, Ripple becoming a bank is a, is a thing that I don't see happening. I shouldn't hope for either way. Because it, it wouldn't even increase the XRP price in any way, shape, or form. It would just get more rules on everything, and it would just make things even a lot more difficult. So I don't really know why you would hope for anything like that. However, 
What you should hope for is a gold-backed system would really change things up. And be careful of the election. Be careful of it all. XRP's future might depend on this one single decision. Of course, those are formed out of millions of decisions. But you get the idea. One simple decision might influence the future of almost all. Literally, guys, think about this. If the U.S. changes from being the number one to the number two and China taking over... Your life, if you're living in the U.S., might be completely different from what it is today. And it can all ride on what they do in regards to crypto. Is that not insane? Really, it could be the guys who get the CBDC going first properly with, with good rules might win the race, might become the number one out there, might still, and this for the U.S., remain the world reserve currency. It's all just huge. It's all lying on this one single choice. Damn, I'm I'm excited to see what's going to be, be coming up. What do you guys predict, though? Do you think a gold standard is coming back, or is it ridiculous? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, by the way, if you don't hear from me again, it's probably the neighbors who heard me complaining, who heard me complaining, and uh, yeah, call the police. Take care, everybody. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, by the way.